What's going on, everybody? And I just got back from seeing Tenet, the latest movie from Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan, to me, has been my favorite director for a long time now. He, If you're not familiar with his work or you've seen a bunch of his work, you know that he likes to mess with time. He likes to make movies that make you think. And through the years, we've gotten Prestige, Inception, Memento, movies that the whole time you're constantly, you're, you're, your gears are spinning, you're trying to figure out, you're trying to figure out. And a lot of times it comes easy to us, but not with Tenet. So let me explain what was going down in that movie. So very early on in the movie, we realized there's a, a program called Tenet that hires the protagonist played by John David Washington because there's, there's a global disaster that's looming over their heads. So the protagonist is joined by Neil, played by Robert Pattinson, and they're on a mission to prevent a catastrophe. Like the viewer, the protagonist does not have all the information about the assignment. Hence why watching this movie we're so confused at first, but as it goes on, we learn more and more and more about what's actually going on. Tenet means a principle or a belief, which suggests that the protagonist has to simply believe in what he's doing without the full facts, hence the name Tenet. Time inversion is a key theme in this movie, which means time can run backwards. People and objects can be inverted, causing confusing scenes such as bullets shooting back into a gun while an er inverted person in the film can move backwards through time while the rest of the world is running forwards and vice versa. There are many scenes in this movie where you're watching it at, and it's, it's literally all over the place. You got people going forward, you got people going backwards, you got things that are ha happening, like bombs going off that aren't going off, that are retracting. That It's a lot going on. And again, as I'm getting into explaining myself, yes, this movie hits us by surprise, and it's a lot to take in. We meet the satyr who is played by Kenneth Branagh, who is involved in a dark plot alongside people from the future to get hold of the algorithm. The plans involve gathering together nine pieces of the algorithm, a weapon, that have been scattered through time and space. Collecting them will allow the holder to invert entropy, a complex physical concept involving matter and time. Sater has a terminal illness so is destined to die but plans to kill all humanity when he goes. Sater had intended to return through time to when he was on a blissful boat trip with his wife Kat and then kill himself which would activate a dead man switch, triggering the algorithm leading to a disastrous consequence for humanity. He is also collaborating with the mysterious future, who believe his actions could somehow put an end to climate change by reversing the entropy of all life on Earth. But the protagonist, Neil, and Kat stop things from playing out like this. Using something called the temporal still, which allows a person to become inverted and travel backwards in time, they aim to put a stop in Sa to Seder's plan. With characters moving back and forth through time, there is often more than one of each person in existence. To make things a bit clear for viewers, those moving backwards through time must wear a face mask to be able to breathe, which is one way to tell who is going backwards and who is going forward from the film. Another benefit of inverting oneself through time is being able to share information about the future with the past selves or others. There are scenes when teams of people are moving forwards while others are moving backwards in what is known as the temporal pincher movement. Near the end, there is a scene in which the protagonist is trying to get a hold of part of the algorithm when he is saved by someone in a mask who appears to be dead and who takes a bullet for him before returning to life. The key clue here is the person who saved the, the protagonist has a red lace on his bag. It later emerges that Neil has a red lace on his bag, so it was, in fact, a version of Neil, him, that saved him. Neil's actions here allow the protagonist pr to prevent a disaster. It later emerges that the protagonist himself is the person behind the tenant operation and who recruited all of those involved in it, a future version of himself and Neil included. So that right there explains what was really going on during the movie. Yes, there's a lot more to this movie than what I just said, but it gives you an idea of the main focus points of, of what was actually happening in this movie. There's a lot going on, like I said. And then eventually we find out that, that the protagonist, who does not have a name, that's just his name, that's what he calls himself in the movie, played by John David Washington, has been kind of in control of this whole tenant program the whole time from the future. There are so many layers to this, and as time goes on and we rewatch it, rewatch it, we will find more and more clues as to what is going on. 
but yes, Tenet was an exciting ride. It was all over the place. And I hope that what I just said to you can give you some satisfaction on what was actually going down in the movie. So with that being said, thanks for watching and please come back for more and subscribe and please become a Patreon supporter because that helps me in return. I can help you. And as always, hi. Thank you.